Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the ESC United channel and to another one of our 2021 Eurovision interviews. Uh, today, I am joined by Effendi from Azerbaijan. Hello, how are hello, you? Hello, hello, I'm fine, thank you. And you? I am doing good. It's a little early here. Um, it's six o'clock in the morning here in the United States, but, you know, I've had a lot of energy drinks. I'm getting through. <laughs> Well, tell me, how has the Eurovision experience been for you so far? Benim için gördüğüm en güzel ve en dinamik bir tecrübedi. It is the most dynamic and the most beautiful experience that I ever had. Bugüne kimi geçtiğim bütün varhelerden çok terklenir. Uh, and it differs a lot from uh, all the contents that I've participated to. Çünkü burada uh, deadline vaxtı var ki, sən müəyyən vaxta qədər artıq mağnını ifa edib, ərsəyə gətirməlisən. Because Eurovision has a deadline uh, when you need to uh, be ready at the short moment, at the short uh, part, uh, preparation period. Ve her an uh, hazırlıqlı olmalısan ki, sehnədə mühtəşəm çıxış eləməlisin. And you should be ready to uh, every time to uh, perform on the stage in every moment. Yeah, that's very true. You you definitely got deadlines that you got to meet sometimes. Well, I know that you have actually participated in a couple of other shows. Um, so, you know, you have been on The Voice of Azerbaijan, uh, the Silkway Star Festival, and I think uh, The Voice of Noor Sultan. Sultan? Sultan. Yes, as well. Uh, do you feel like those have maybe prepared you for the Eurovision experience? Uh, I bet I of course, of yes. course, yes. Hazırlıklar çünkü bu da büyük bir tecrübedir ki böyle büyük bir layihede experience for me yeah, yeah. to participate in such a big uh, contest mm. and festivals. Ve ben diyordum ki ben buna step by step gelmişim ve indi özümü daha profesyonel ve rahat hissedirim. Uh, and I reached the revision step by step, and now I feel more, more comfortable with myself, uh, and I feel that power in myself. Oh, wonderful. Well, you know, we are so excited that you are here. Um, I know that you've actually been trying to get to Eurovision for a while. I think your bio said that you've tried five times. Bale, bale. Ama, yes. Uh, yes, ama uh, bir şey de var ki, mən keçmədiyim illər boş oturmurdum heç bir zaman. Uh, daha diğer layihelere katılırdım, projeler hazırlıyordum. Uh, yes, you are right, but for all those five years I've participated in many festivals and many contests. I was working on myself and I was not just sitting and waiting for Eurovision. Right, sure. But what does it mean to you now that you actually are here? Benim için bu o demektir ki, ben arzuma, arzuma gelip çattım, kaldım, eksedime doğru atılmamı. It means that I reached my dream, but now I need to reach my goals. Yeah, yeah, and I think that that's one thing that's so great about Eurovision is that sometimes it can be like a springboard. You know, you come to Eurovision, you get that international exposure, and then you get so many people who follow you right after the contest and support you. So... Out of curiosity for the people who uh, are FND fans, is there anything that might be coming after Eurovision that we should be kind of on the watch for? Bir neçə proyektlər əsəyə gətirmək istəyərdim. Maraqlı proyektlərimiz var, düşüncələrimiz, fikirlərimiz var. And now we're uh, thinking and working on a few, a few projects. Və əlbəttə ki, Filmde istiyordum çekilem, tarihi filmde. And I would like to be an actress in some kind of historical uh, movie. Mm. Ve elbette ki hal hazırda uh, sadece staging'ımı düşünürüm. Çünkü benim için bu hakikaten çok önemli, çok. But for now I'm thinking only about my staging because it's really, really important for me. Yeah, well, and, and speaking of uh, historics and, and in history, we know that your two Eurovision songs were very inspired by strong, powerful women. Yeah. I This might be a, a, a difficult question, 
But if you were to return for Eurovision 2022, who would be the person that would inspire that entry for you? Um, I think bu benim için şok olur mu? <laughs> Üçüncü yılda temsil etsem öyle. And it would be a shock for me if I will represent my country for the third time in a row. Uh, ama ben her şeye hazırım. But I'm ready for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Güclü hanımlardan başka da benim tokunmak istediğim bir neçen mevzular var ki yagin onlara tokunardım. Uh, there are uh, many topics that I want to sing about uh, except powerful women. Uh, I would say that I would choose another topic for my next uh, Eurovision performance. Gotcha, okay. Bu her bir mevzu olabilir. It could be any topic. Anything. Bir- Aşık olup sevgi hakkında da okuyabilirim. Maybe I love someone, I will sing about love. Okay, so we have maybe even a genre switch as well. Olabilir. Yes, özümü hem It's possible. Şey, yes, ben eksperiment etmeyi çok seviyorum. Uh, I like to, I love to have experiments in my genres. Okay, wonderful. Well, I, I think... Um, a question that I've really been interested in. Um, I, you know, your song was internally selected this year. Um, I know that you worked with a really powerful team of writers, uh, people who have worked with like Martin Garrix and Paris Hilton and, and big names in the industry. What was it like working with this team and how involved were you in the selection process? Elbette ki her yıl olduğu gibi uh, yine uh, seçim turlarına katılmıştım. Uh, I applied to the national selection as always as I did it <gülüyor> many years. <gülüyor> Ve um, daha sonra beni uh, davet edildiler ki meetinge davet edildiler ki uh, benim geçtiğimi söylesinler. Ama ben buna inanmurdum. And then they uh, invited me to a meeting. Uh, to see me that I that I passed through this national selection, but I never believed them. Ben ele bilirdim ki, ha, ben ele bilirdim ki, ben gideceğim ve ben diyecekler ki, bu il dağılmadı, gelen ile hazırlar. Yani buna hazırdım. When she applied to national selection, she was ready uh, that they will say her just apply next year as always. Yeah, you, you can do it the next year. So I was ready for this. Ve uh, ahırda bana uh, deyende uzun sohbetten sonra we talk many times, <laughs> long time. <laughs> ahırda bana dediler ki ben sen geçirsen ben inanmadım, ele bildim ben nazarafat edildiler. And, they to- and when they told me that I was selected, uh, I didn't believe them, uh, I started to cry. Ve ha, yani ben inanmadım. Sonuna kadar derdim ki siz hakikaten mi böyle değilsiniz? Bu ben geçtim mi? Ben, She was asking, is it real? Me? <gülüyor> Are you not joking? <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Ve böyle çıkıyor ki ben ıı, çok uğurduyam. Iı, ki ben ülkemi iki yıl ardı ardı çoğuluyla temsil edirəm. Uh, it means that I'm very lucky to, uh, for now, to represent my country in, uh, for the second time in a row, and I'm very. Uh, it's a big honor for me. Ve biz Mahnanın destekçilerinden artık geçen ilden tanıştık. We were working with our composers from the last year. Ve elbette ki bu çok uh, büyük bir tecrübedir ve çok büyük bir tefri istedir ki ben öyle insanlarla tanış olmuşam, dost olmuşam ve ben inanıram ki uh, Avraviziyadan sonraki uh, proyektlerim de bir neçeler, neçesi mes onlara ait olabilir. Uh, and I'm very proud to work with them. Uh, I hope that after your revision we will have many projects together. I uh-huh. believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe it too. And I, I think that they have definitely created something that works for you, um, something that is very uh, befitting to you as an artist. So I want to kind of think about the future Azerbaijani representatives at Eurovision. What advice would you give to people since you've gone through this process so many times? 
What advice would you give to them when they're trying to get to the Eurovision stage? Sözsüz ki ilk nevbede uh, sabırlı olmalarını. Uh, iş Be güzel. patient. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> i̇ş güzel olmalarını. Be uh, hard working. Ve her an uh, hazır ruhlu olmalarını. And you should be uh, ready at every moment. Ve uh, nece bir mensuliyeti yarışmada iştirak ettiğilerini başa düşmelidiler. Uh, they should understand that uh, they're participating in such a big contest. Ve hiç neye bakmayarak sona kadar mensuliyeti buna yanaşıp ve öz məqsədlerine doğru getmelidiler. And no matter what, uh, no matter any obstacles, they should go to the end uh, and reach their goal. Yeah, yeah, then that's really strong advice. So, uh, you know, to anyone who is trying, uh, one day you could be the next Effendi for Azerbaijan. So such a great uh, inspiration there for, for the people out there. Well, I don't want... I don't want... Uh, the reason why I'm Effendi today is uh, my team that made me Effendi. Ah, okay. So perhaps maybe not specifically Effendi, but but the the image, the person, the representative yes. of Effendi uh, on the Eurovision stage. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I know that you have a very busy schedule. Um, you know, you have a lot of rest and a lot of other interviews coming up, I'm sure as well. But thank you so much for taking some time out of your schedule to meet with me and to, to talk with our, our audience. Um, it means the world. Yes. And we, we cannot wait to see you light up that stage uh, in the semifinals next week. So best of luck, take care and have a great time. Mən sizə dərin təşəkkürümü bildirirəm ki, siz mənə interview vaxtınızı ayırdınız. For your time, for this interview. Gözəl suallarınıza görə təşəkkür edirəm sizə. For your beautiful questions. Mənim görüşmək müdü ilə. Yes. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.